Hello everybody, welcome back to P10X. I am Narendar and today we have an exciting journey ahead as we dive into the world of AI based personalized recommendations using Excel. But before we get started, I want you to let you know that B10X has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. If you are someone using Excel in your day to day job, let me tell you something you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something you are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. Now let's explore the fascinating world of AI based personalized recommendations using the Goodreads books data set from Kaggle. We'll leverage the Analyze Data AI feature in Excel to answer some of the interesting questions about the data set. Before we jump into solving the questions, I would like to tell you more about the data set. We are having total 12 columns in our data set. They are book ID, title, authors, average rating, ISBN, ISBN 13, then language code, number of pages, number of ratings, number of text reviews, publication date, then publisher. And they are total 11,123 books available in, in this data set. Now let's see the questions. These are the total 6 questions which we are going to solve. So before that let's select the entire data set then we have to click on analyze data it will take few seconds to analyze our data now I'm going to copy the first question what is the average rating of all the books Now I am going to paste it here. Here is the output. We have to click on insert pivot table. Now I am going to tweak this thing a little bit. Here we don't want any book ID and we don't want this chart also. As you can see the average of average rating that is 3.93. Now we will solve second question. How many books are there for each language in the data set? So let's see that. Here is the output just click on insert as you can see for english language there are 8908 books available and for the other languages also there is a count now let's solve third question which book has the highest number of text reviews? Let's copy the question. Let's click on insert pivot table. Let's tweak this thing a bit. I'm just going to grab title and going to drop it here. Now you can see the title of the book, Twilight, which got the highest number of 
text reviews now let's solve fourth question before that let's take a moment to talk about the impact of ai on our careers we have seen significant changes in the job market due to ai but fear not ai won't replace you the person using ai effectively will stay ahead to help you become irreplaceable in your career we are offering a workshop on microsoft office using ai tools this workshop will teach you the best ai tools to explore increase productivity and secure your future the link is in the description below join us and make your future secure now we'll solve fourth question how many books were published by each publisher let's copy the question as you can see just click on insert now you can see the output here vintage publisher published 318 books now let's solve the fifth question what is the average rating for books in each language let's copy the question now click on insert pivot table now i am going to tweak this thing a bit we don't want a book id now i am going to sort this by average of average rating descending now you can see this language book has highest rating now let's solve the last question for this video which publisher has the highest average rating for its book let's copy the question let's click on insert pivot table now i'm going to just tweak this thing a little bit we don't want a book id now i'm going to sort this by max of average rating then descending you can see this publisher has the highest rating as we conclude our journey into ai based personalized recommendations in excel don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative content and don't miss out on our exclusive workshop the link is in the description box below we'll see you there thank you for watching keep learning stay curious and we'll catch you in the next video